Hello, hello friends. Welcome back to my channel and I hope you've been having a great day so far. As you can tell from the title of today's video, we are going to be doing a DIY craft. It is super easy. It is a home decor that I actually do throughout the seasons and I modify it depending on what season we're in. I actually did one for Valentine's Day that is similar and today we are doing an easy paper pumpkin garland. It is right behind me here. I've just put it over the mantle. It's super cute. I love that it looks really modern because when you think paper craft, sometimes it tends to be a little bit tacky or it just looks like it's for kids. And as you know, with me, I really love modern and simple home decor. So I really love how these turn out and I want to show you guys how to do it. Okay, since this is a DIY craft, we are doing it in the living room. Um, any craft or like home decor related, I'll do it in the living room and then any obviously cooking we'll do in the kitchen. I think I'm gonna be doing the same film style as I've been doing for the past few videos where Instead of me just talking or me doing it um, in front of the camera where you guys can't really see exactly what my hands are doing, I'm going to change the view so that you guys can see um, what I'm doing and how to put it together and what every step should look like just so it's a lot easier. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, make sure that you do. I release a new video every Wednesday at 2.30 p.m. PST. The blog post for whatever I'm talking about in this video is linked down below. So if I missed out any details, you'll find it. If you haven't followed any of my social media links, they are all down below. I am on every platform and I do a little something different on each. So um, I hope you'll find something that you like. And without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so I am just going to be showing you this on my coffee table. And I have the three materials here, plus you'll need a pair of scissors, but all you'll need is um, little wooden clothes pins. You can get this from the dollar store. I just picked this up from Michael and reuse it. So I've only really bought one pack in my life and I love them so much. They are so cute. Um, again, you can get them from any craft store. I'll attach a link for this if you wanna get it from Amazon below. And then you'll just want some twine. Again, you can get from the dollar store. Um, you can use yarn, you can use any kind of rope you'd like. It honestly, like whatever you have available, this craft is meant to be affordable, low budget, and still be cute. I just love using twine whenever I can. And then you'll need your sheets of um, paper. I have a printer at home and I just printed these cutouts I made off Canva. I'm attaching the link to download these cutouts from my freebie library so that you can do this yourself. Um, and then, yeah, that's pretty much it. So the first thing you want to do is you want to cut out all of the pumpkins off here. It is a little bit time consuming, I do admit, but I usually just do this when I'm like watching movies or relaxing at home and it's just super duper easy. I cut them into little shapes or little squares and then it does not have to be perfect. As you can tell, I'm not the best cutter and my scissors are not that great. But super easy. I tried to pick a pumpkin shape that was just a lot easier to cut out. There are other shapes that have like too many lines and you're just like, oh. Okay, so there you go. There's the first one. And then you literally just want to continue until you've got enough pumpkins um, for you to hang. I usually do about eight per garland but it depends on how long your your uh, string or your yarn is too and like where you're hanging it. My mantle, um, my mantle length is really not long. So I, I don't need that much. I think for this one, I actually did, I think six. Oh, I did eight, just looked at it. <laughs> I did eight, um, but yeah, I'm gonna continue cutting this. So you guys don't have to watch me cut this and get really bored. And then I will catch you guys in a second. Okay, so I've cut about eight pieces here, which is what I used the last time. So I'm gonna stick with that. And then you wanna get your twine and cut out the size that you want. 
I kind of just like get a long strand and then cut it later. Um, but it's up to you if you want to like do exact measurements. Okay. See, there you go. So you've got your piece of twine here. And then that's when you want to start adding in your pumpkins. So you want to get a small paper clip and you can hang them any way you want. Sometimes you can hang them from the side here. I've had it upright, again, whatever. Um, I'm gonna just do this one from the side. And yeah, that is pretty much it. And then continue on until you are finished your batch of pumpkins. And then we are gonna hang it up. And I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. So this is what the finished product looks like. I know I space them a little closer than I usually do, but I just I just wanted to get the whole garland in the frame here, but it's so easy. I literally did this in about like a minute or two and you can really hang them anywhere. Just make sure that when you do hang it, uh, you're straightening it out a little bit. Uh, just like I am gonna show you what it looks like on my mantle right now. Again, I just use tape to attach it, but you can definitely use a command hook or um, anything else if you don't like tape showing. And you can also cover it by adding another pumpkin on where the tape is and um, just covering it there. But again, it's really up to you. I love this. I actually think it looks super chic. It adds kind of a homey touch because, uh, you know, I love DIY and I love my house not looking like a catalog too much. And yeah, they are so cute. I love beige and white all over my house. You can definitely change the colors if you want something brighter, like bright orange or blacks, greens, purples, whatever the Halloween colors are, you totally can. Make sure that you're getting pumpkins that have a less intricate um, outline so it's a lot easier to cut um one more thing to note is that if you want to make it like a farmhouse kind of look you can definitely use newspaper i actually um saw this being done on pinterest and from a fellow blogger i'll attach her blog post for how she made her uh valentine's day one which is like newspaper cut out hearts which is super cute and i will catch you guys in a sec so you can see what it looks like on my mantle close up hey guys so i just want to show you where i've hung my garland so as you can see i didn't really do too much i literally just put some masking tape to hold up the strings um if you want to cover the tape you totally can or if you want to use um, a different material that's fine too but i just have my little pumpkin garland hanging um by the mantle here and you can also put this on your shelves. You can definitely put this on your staircase. Um, you can really hang it anywhere you'd like. But yeah, I just want to show you guys that. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the step-by-step -step tutorial and get to make it yourselves. I am attaching the exact principles that I used and I created in the description below. I also have a freebie library on my blog with all the freebies of all my home decor. If you see everything that I have behind me and pretty much all the wall art in my house is designed by me. So you guys can also get that and print it out at your local um, print shop or if you have a printer at home. Just make sure to sign up for my email list. I only do one newsletter a month, so should not be too overwhelming. Again, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, make sure that you do. I release a new video every Wednesday at 2.30 p.m. PST. And if you haven't followed any of my social media links, they are all down below. Let me know if you like this video and comment below what else you want to see from me. Other than that, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll catch you later. Bye.